can hear right now is my voice and not see my face. Better sort that out as well. Let's, uh, let's put the cameras on, Jane, shall we? That helps. Good morning. Hello. Um, we've got a problem with YouTube. Are we live on YouTube now? good -o. YouTube's normally our most stable platform, isn't it, SJ? So, uh, it's all going on today. We're not Natasha. Good morning and welcome <laughs> to Natasha Makes. Um, that was the first calamity of the morning is we're not Tash. No. And we should be. Yeah. We should be. Um, She's proper boiling. She is. Let's reverse a bit. Good morning. Um, this is Natasha Makes. If you've not watched before, my name's Gemma Pinfield Thomas and this here is our very lovely stitchy witch, Jane Orcock. Good morning. Um, our name's not Natasha and that logo thing, hang on, there. Up in the corner. That one? Yeah. It says Natasha Makes and it's because Natasha does make but today she's not making. Uh, if you watched yesterday's show, if you're not new here, you'll have seen she wasn't her most sparkly best. No, she was a little bit black, bless her. She wasn't feeling fabulous. So we've taken an emergency <coughs> decision to send her back to Cornwall. Go yes. off to Cornwall. And go Take to your bed. bugs and go away. Take your children. <laughs> go back to Cornwall and rest. And there's, a, there's an amber weather warning anyway. So it's yes. not an entirely yep. poor decision. Um, and Jane and I have pulled together a rather fabulous show for you. Yes. Thanks, Jane. It's a pleasure. Just it is, honestly, room, you know, I have to work with fabric, what more can I say? I know, right. Hard life. And what we've done actually today is we've brought you a new colourway of one of our most popular quilts last year. Yes. Um, popular for many reasons. One is, it is fabulous, and the other being that it actually doesn't use a lot of fabric, Jane. No. You get a lot of area for not much fabric at all. Absolutely. It's a cracking price. But yeah, we'll, we will talk about that a little bit in a little while. I'm just going to check everyone can hear us. We've got Ali, Farmer Ali, over on YouTube. Good morning. Uh, on Facebook, we have lots of lively activity. Jimmy says, good morning, ladies, and Martin. Um, and Claire Angelina, Facebook told her that we were live today. Well, that's oh, good so of it, because sometimes it doesn't tell you anything. Uh, Sharon says, good morning, ladies. Claire Everett says, morning from a snowy East Yorkshire. I drove here through snow this morning. Um, there was um, no snow by me. Yes. None at well, all. I by you in and I got here and it wasn't snowing. <laughs> well, it's snowing where I live. It's snowing now. Mm -hmm. Not heavily. It's not. No, like, it's not settling. It's enough that when you're driving, you're like, well, it feels like you're in winter film. Yes. You know, Christmassy film because it's all over your screen and. Whoosh, whoosh, but it's not settling. No. So I don't feel concerned. But I have got the proper boots, boots on. on. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case. Unlike me. Just in case. Who's got me suede boots got your on? You've got beautiful suede with little heels on. Not sensible for snow, the top, couldn't you? But then there wasn't any. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, quite. Uh, Sharon says, "Good morning, ladies." And oh, I think I said that one. So's everybody. Sorry, repeating myself. Yep, we've got Joe and Di. She says, "Good idea." She needed to be at home. She really did, and we don't want to hear. Um, <laughs> In the best possible way, In but the best we were like. Possible way. I think you should go. <laughs> Anne says, good morning, ladies. Hope you feel better soon, Natasha. Oh, Natalie's having a cheeky watch while working from home. We won't tell anyone. We won't tell. Grace says, good morning from a snowy Cardiff. Hey, this is good, isn't it? Sleety Berkshire, no snow in Spalding. Yeah, all sorts going on. Oh, Claire's brought the washing in. <laughs> I think that's wise if you've got snow. <laughs> At five degrees and rain, where Jimmy is, about there, Australia. Yes. Good oh. So I'm just going to uh, get rid of people, naughty people on the page. If you see any naughty people on the page, don't worry. Our SJ's in today. Our office child, isn't she? Yes. She'll be busy. She'll be busy. She'll sort them out. Are you listening to me, SJ? It was naughty people. I've just had to uh, get rid of them. Keep an eye out, please. Thank you very much. Uh, Leslie Freeman says, "Good morning. No snow here, but very cold." Natasha did look off colour yesterday. Bless her. Oh, she did. Yes. Yes, she did. And Sue says, good day. Good day, Sue. Good day, Sue. Hey, good stuff. Well, we've got lots of goodies for you today because, you know, being as Tash couldn't be here and she'd promised you tur turnip related yes. delights. Yes. Which is still going to come next week. Which they will next week. Um, we felt we needed to make up for that, didn't we, Jane? There is a very large pile of half wheat heaven. Yes, she's spoiling you. She really is. She's like the. Um, ambassador in oh, Ferrero Rocher. Rocher. <laughs> Mrs. Rocher, you will be spoiling us. Oh, yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and also, we've got, you'll see on the website, Natasha mentioned yesterday about some bolt ends from our suppliers. So, we do do a bolt end deal on our bolt ends. So, when we have a bolt of fabric and we get towards the end, three metres or less normally, 
we might do a bolt end offer where we take that piece of fabric, measure it, and it goes out to you at a crazy price, about 25% off. However, Natasha spoke to our supplier, and of course their warehouse is vast, they've got little tiny bits here and there on bolts that it's just no use to them. They're not going to sell to a company like us, a no. small quantity. No, because they're like less, some of them were less than a metre. Exactly. Some of them were less than three metres, and, and no supplier no. is going to sell no that, really. No going to want to buy that from a wholesaler. No. So she persuaded them that, yep, that's fine, we can take those off your hands. Which sounded like a wonderful idea until Jane and I had to stand and diligently list all of these yesterday yes. and package them. Um, but they are on our website. Some of you have been quite lively already, have spotted them and have snapped them up, and I don't blame you, but there is some beautiful Morris on there. I mean, some of it's fabric that I bought a while ago that yes, has been unavailable. Yeah, there's some standard on there and some Bloomsbury. Yeah. Um, pure, there's a li and the pure, the pure minerals is lovely. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's some really nice ones and a lot of them are neutral so they're great for your stash because they'll they'll come in handy for anything but, but similarly there's some current range of yes. bundle on there yeah um, there's some backing fabrics some absolutely stunning SJ if you can hear me can you wheel said trolley in actually it's in front of my desk we didn't wheel the trolley in no we forgot that the tech broke just before the show which I mean sort of threw us slightly it's almost like we decided we'd rather have a show than a trolley. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> if someone could bring the trolley in, that'd be marvellous. And if I can have the, oh, the bolt of K for backing fabric yes. as well. There's one called, oh, I can hear the, she's, she's listening to she me. She is. Hey, this is good, this. You can stay. You can stay, SJ. You're all right. You're yeah, not, if you you're stay not in shot. Side, it'll be fine. I might see the back of your head. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy, yeah. There's a really fantastic <laughs> cave fabric as well that's blue background with big oh, red flowers good. on blooms. Natasha it's made trousers out of it. Oh, in, the okay. in the first aisle, right at the bottom by the radiator on the bottom shelf. Yeah. See. Thanks, Extra Molly. wide. It's stunning. Yeah, 108. So... <coughs> She <coughs> made trousers out of this particular fabric, which will get brought through, but she's managed to get a bolt of it. Now, this predates me, so this has got to be three years ago. Yeah. Um, because I came on board not much less than that. So, yeah, it's gorgeous. We'll show you that in a minute. But there are, in the bolt ends, there are backing fabrics. There is some Kaif quilt grid. What do you call that? Quilt, quilt wall. wall. They call it flannel That's something. The one. That's the bugger. There he is. Look at you walking like a crab sideways down the room. I'm making it. I'm making a right rustly noise here. You're Sorry. You haven't got your screen face on. She's all worried. <laughs> but we bought you all manner of goodies today. So we have. I'm going to go into overhead to have a look at this fabric while you're rummaging through those uh, bolts. I tents. thought there was some Anna Marie Horner, but I think it must have all been snaffled already. Oh, I think some of it got snaffled for half me to heaven -ish. Yes. So there might be a bit that you recognise that. I'm going to go into overhead to look at this because it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this needs to be a quilt backing. This needs to be, well, I'm looking at whether I need another fabulous coat. But this is an absolutely beautiful cotton sateen. Now, the cotton sateen, if you've not had it, is Gosh, it's just stunning and it feels beautiful. I made a really fabulous long coat out of Millie Fury sateen. It's so nice to wear. It's, it's wafts. Yeah, it's vibrant as well. I wore it to Festival of Quilts, well, didn't I? Yes. And everybody, several people complimented you on it because it looked fabulous. It wasn't Festival. It was the other show that we went to, the other trade show. The Stitches. Yes. Yeah. But it was really, really nice to sew with and I don't dress make really um, so it's 108 wide so great yeah. for quilt backings but also for your dressmaking when we say it's 108 wide that's 108 inches so we are talking 270 plus centimeters wide craziness now natasha's used 108s before to make her market tote which is a lovely make if you've if not I tried that it takes half a meter put the ruler but on there you can see that that bloom this bloom is such a gorgeous 11 bloom. inches across so that gives you the size of the. So back from your quilt. Can you imagine? Inches. You make a stunning quilt, and this is on the back. There's a there's a feeling in this building that the back of your quilt should be as fabulous as the front. Aside from anything else, if someone's dribbled on the front, you know. Well, when you've got small children, yes, they're eating or little sweets dogs. and their sticky fingers or whatever. 
then being able to just flip it over and go, oh, I'm not sad, because look at this. So yeah, this is available by the half metre on the website today. I have put a little discount on it because the price of cotton sateen backing fabrics has gone up, as everything in the world has gone up. And we've been absorbing these costs. Um, but what I've done is I've just, I've, the cost that you'll see on there, you'll see a compare at cost, which will tell you what it will be, but I've put the discount on it to bring it down to what we were charging before for cotton sateen backing fabrics. But it's just lovely. You can see that sheen on there, actually, can't you? Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, so that, that is by the half metre. But the rest we have are bolt ends. And this, Jane, I bought some of this. Um, I'm using it to back my Tracy Perks giraffe quilt. Oh, yes, lovely. Now, this is from Morris & Co. This is Chrysanthemum Toile in Sky. It's arrived and everyone went, oh, that's nice. I said, I know exactly what that's called. It's my favourite backing fabric of all time. This, again, is a 108. But we have pre-cut pieces of this. This was from our supplier. Again, they've got the end of their bolts and they're just quantities that a retailer are not going to want to buy from a wholesaler because they're just not, they're not full rolls, they're not half rolls. Now, when you get your pieces, <coughs> you might find it's cut, it looks a little bit like this on the ends. Yep. It's very uneven. We've taken the measurement from the shortest amount. Jane's done that for you. You can trust that that's done. So, probably. although, you know, it's a bit because the bolt ends, some of them the end of the bolt and where it's been cut, so they're uneven at the edges, but we've taken the measurement from the shortest point. We have. And so maybe there's a bit of print on some on an edge. Um, we won't have included that. No, we, we'll we will have, have measured have in and gone from from, from the edge, but we've left it on because yeah. obviously it's in the top corner by the salvage, so you could just snip that yeah, out and use the rest of the, piece, the, width, the yeah, bit. So. The rest of the bit. For sure. So, your mother says snowing here, Jane. Oh right. Ooh. Is it sticking, Mum? <coughs> Is it sticking? sticking? Is it settling? Please keep us updated on the weather report, there, Kate. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Absolutely. You see that piece is a 1.1 meter piece. That's Beautiful. quite a nice piece for a back of a quilt. But Natasha has got our market tote make, which is made with the 108 wide. It uses half a meter. So if you just see a half meter or a little bit over. We work, we of the if I put that there, it doesn't glisten so there much with the packaging. But yeah, if you do see a 108 in a small quantity and you think, but why? Well, A, because you can go with that width and cut it down and use it for patchworking for sure. Yeah, absolutely, you know, yeah. Even if you'd only got a 10 inch strip, you could have, you know, you could make yourself layer cake blocks out yeah, of that. Yeah, yes, um, definitely. And all of these are bigger than that. But also, you have got the option to make something like Natasha's Market Tote or subcut it and use it for other projects. It's yeah. just beautiful quality. Yeah. The lovely. extra wide makes lovely bags. So this is a bit of the minerals. This is pure trellis in linen. Lovely. Lovely beiges and greys. Really lovely. This is a piece of um, pure Morris minerals and this is Michaelmas Daisy in ink. That's rather lush, that one. It's very one. nice. Um, this is a bit of fun. I think Natasha showed you this yesterday. That would make great bags or backs for children's quilts. It's such fun, isn't it? That's really a bit is. of Jane Sassiman, Jane's hot, um, hot House Garden, Starry Night. We've got several pieces. We've got several pieces of all of these. So they're all sort of slightly different sizes. This is a lovely one. This is a pure Morris mineral, min blah, blah, minerals. <laughs> Teeth in. And that's Bachelor's Button. And that's a lovely soft beigey grey, and then there's just a little tiny hint of a mustardy type yellow, just it's a little really splash of that on cream. That's such a popular colourway now. Classic. In their decor as well. Yeah. The grey with a little bit of mustard and cream in their rooms. And that's a bit of Bloomsbury Willow in I can't pronounce that. Classic, isn't it? Is it Chona? Chona. Mm, I don't know don't what the know. What, what that colour is, but it's little tiny leaves in a nice soft brown colour with a deep rich chocolate brown behind really nice for linings or um, you know for your for your stash patchwork and things like that there's lots of pieces in there there's lots of different there are that sizes they're just a sort of taster oh you've another one this is this, this is, is lovely yeah. this is <laughs> Jane, now, take all of this home with her this is marigold and i've written cream on it it's not cream it's tan their color way it's on our website as tan cream yeah because well, because it's both there's both I, colors. I read it from the bolt and saw it was tan and i wrote tan on the first one and then for every <laughs> subsequent label i wrote cream <laughs> we love jane it's fine but it's gorgeous it's a lovely rich rich sort of buttermilky cream colour 
I wouldn't say that was tan, would you? It's a really versatile fabric. But that is a and lovely, yeah, background mm. fabrics, you know, in, in your in your blocks and things like that, or backing, the detail, linings for bags. It's yeah. just beautiful. The of course, it's what well. Morris yeah. fabrics. It's just lovely. If you've not had any Morris before, actually, when you get your Morris fabric and you look, the fine line detail within yeah, the print the is just wonderful. It's just, it's exquisite, absolutely exquisite. So this is a really nice opportunity for you to be able to purchase some of that at a ridiculously low price. And then you've got your quilt oh, wall. wall. Jean, explain quilt wool for us. It's um, a flannel fabric and these are two inch squares. So it's great to have hanging in the background on your in your workroom if you have such a luxury as a workroom um, to sort of audition your blocks if you like, your patchwork on because it will cling to it without falling off or well, you can pin it to it as well. Um, so it's a really handy thing to have and you could also um, cover a board with some wadding underneath and it would make a nice pressing cloth too. Yeah, for sure. I always like refer to this as being like fuzzy felt. Yes. Because you can stick your fuzzy felt pieces on and then think, no, I don't want that there. Lift, move and, and change yes, them Yes, it's, it's great for, for having a play when, you, when you've got an idea in your head and you want to try a block out. Rather than make it, make the units up and place them on and then you can have a look then to see whether that is how you wanted it to be or whether you need to change things around. It's Absolutely. great for like colour placements and stuff. It's things like intentionally grey so that anything you're working with will stand out next to it. Yes, it's um, neutral so that it I doesn't... Anyone who knows Cave knows that grey is not Cave's choice. No, he doesn't. Generally, you don't see grey fabrics. He doesn't like grey, does he? No, and this two inch square grid that's been made there has been made in grey for a reason. Are we going to do the half meter? We can do the half meter for sure. Well, we're over overhead. The other thing to quickly mention about the um, the quilt wall as well is that you've got it, it, you can put that up, throw all those blocks on, move them around, and just work to your heart's content. And it, it really makes a difference to be able to put all your blocks where you want them up on your wall, and then move backwards and look at them from a distance, isn't yes. it, Jane? Yeah. To see them from afar. Yes, yeah, see how a secondary pattern Step might be appearing back. and things like that and how the colours work together. Really makes that difference. And there's no need for pins. No. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's a nice bit of strawberry thief here, look. Now, as much with as some the salmon. items we've just shown you are available immediately, what we're about to show you now, the Half Meter Heavens, if you are joining us for the first time, these are our Thursday deals, okay? So these are a half metre of designer, which normally would go out at around the 7.95 mark, and a half metre of plane. These will go out at midnight tonight for 9.99. And they are limited. So that's a metre of a fabric first. for 9.99. Exactly. Nice. Crazy, crazy deal. They're our Thursday deal. We do them every week. We show you them on a Wednesday, and at midnight they go live, and it's every man for himself, yes. I say. I love this fabric, Jane. Strawberry Thief is classic, isn't it? Stunning. And it's with the salmon, this is our yep. salmon, it just picks up this lovely corally colour that's within the within this with the blue. Very nice. We only have two of those. So be quick. Um, oh. And that was, that was a half meter heaven that sold out for us. And then we had this tiny piece come in from our supplier and we just thought, well, we know exactly what to do with that. Yeah. This is... Is it large acanthus? Um, no, it's seven. Seven, <laughs> seven <laughs> blue. In the uh, strictly voice, seven. With our cadet blue. Again, this was a half That's meter just heaven sold out. Beautiful, so classic, isn't it? That blue, oh, fresh. It's lovely, fresh, yeah. clean, crisp. We've got six of those. And those lovely detail that we say about. Yeah. Bit of Odile by Earl now. This now, is flower fairies from Odile. We've had now, this before. We love Odile because there's there's so much oh. within the design to see. You've got your flower fairy there. These her skirts made from feathers. There's some butterflies going on. And the more you look at the fabric, the there's jellyfish. jellyfish. Yeah. The more you look at the fabric, the more you'll see. But it's how the jellyfish complement the vines that you've got going on here yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Just, the foliage, it just, it's beautiful. It is. But we did have this before and it disappeared. I think I managed to get hold of a metre of it to do two units another time. Yeah. That disappeared. So, just a heads up. If you did 
miss out before and you were sad about that. Don't you could have really good fun fussy cutting this, couldn't you? But the blue that's gone with it, it just pulls. It pulls it? all of these and makes the lime greens sing as well. It's as lovely. if it needed it, Jane. No. As if it needed any help. It doesn't need it any doesn't, help at but all. You put that with it and pow. I think That's with sapphire. That's our sapphire. Prize for the best possible name for a fabric goes to this next one. <laughs> this is a tulip pink. This is from the Line <laughs> Line Works collection. This is uh, Mick Jaguar. I love it. I love it. Mick Jaguar. I love this love rainbow it. ombre. You know I love a rainbow. And then you've got the jaguars. Look at the detail on the faces there. They're beautiful. And we've put that with, is that raspberry or pomegranate? Uh, pomegranate. Lovely. Yeah. Well, actually, I think that's Daydreamer collection, you know, Jane. Oh, is Daydreamer, it? Daydreamer, yeah. So Mick Jaguar and Passionflower is the colourway. Because um, how on earth do you name a colourway for this when it's got every colour under the sun in it? Yes. It's amazing. Passionflower is what she's called it. And with pomegranates. I love this. It's, you look at this and you think it's a dot on the background. But actually, when you look at it closely, there's little stars and hearts in it. And there's sort of light flashes there as well. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, oh, now this one. Now, this needs a mention because huh, we have had this before. And it has look disappeared. At this. And there were some very sad people. We've had it in kits. This, this is, is a Ste Stephen, well, Anita Good Design with Stephen Wilson. It's a collection called Chrysalis, and this fabric's called Lek in Prism. You look could at have that. anything with this. Yeah. We kept, we How did. stunning is that going to look <laughs> in a bag? We did, we did keep going. Well, and borders on a quilt oh, as well. Oh, yes. Other options, yeah. Because Absolutely. And the background here is like wood grain. This has got like a, a wood grain sort of effect on it in this lovely sort of charcoal colour. It's not black, it's it's softer than that. Yeah, it's beautiful. I want to make like a table mat and use this as the border piece. Oh yes, that'd be lovely. Just and that's with our paprika, paprika, because we've got this lovely sort of burnt orange colour running through it. So that really, really is gorgeous. She is gorgeous, for sure. I love that one. Very nice. Live at midnight, like we say. There's only four. This is another one from the True Colours Tula Pink this time. Oh, this has got <coughs> swallows on it. Look at that. Yeah, it's called fairy dust. It's, it is like fairy dust. It's like... Mm. This with lavender. Yes. Look at yes, that. Yes, it is. See, she, she knows. picks up this. She knows. Again, it's got a <coughs> rainbow ombre going through it, so it would go with anything, really. Like a beautiful lining of a bag, this something bit exciting. My mother's with us as well, Jane. We're definitely going to have to behave. They're both on. Both motherships. Be be best behaviour. We do need to be on our best behaviour. I love this. This is oh, rather exciting. Now, this is a new one to us. We've not had Look this. At that. And Natasha, this is, I, I'd go so far as to say probably her favourite of the week. She got quite excited about this one. Yeah, this, this is, is very a much a Natasha, fabric. Natasha type fabric. This is, yeah, I can't see the Dowdy. label. And it's Earth Made Paradise Collection Tropical Leaf Cool. And it's gone with sangria. And this sangria just blends beautifully with the vines on here, which actually makes the greens pop, mm. which is ha amazing how colours work, isn't it? Amazing. It just was such a. When she grabbed that fabric, we both went, ooh. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> the two together just look fabulous. They I really love do. this. This is flourish. Well, th yeah. Now, this was the one I'd got my little BDI on as well. This, this is from is, the uh, VA Vintage yeah. Florals. We've got it upside down. Look at this. Look at that. This is flourish with azalea. Azalea. And when you pop that on, boom, look at that. All this background, there's a lovely sort of pink corally colour here. It's a difficult and choice, it. that one, for Natasha. Yes. Because she was pulling different things and they all looked great. Yeah. You know, so this you is could have our first half fabric. Jade would yeah, work well with that, and a bit of chartreuse, mm. and our lovely um, Copen blue would look lovely with that as well, wouldn't You'll it? You'll find this is really adaptable and will mix really well with your stash, but it's Victoria and Albert Museum fabric as well. I mean, that's Yeah, not so it's taken from a, a vintage collection. Mm. It's not something you get every day. Nope. Now this one, this one I feel needs to be mine. <laughs> this 
We couldn't choose, Jane. Oh, look at this. This is um, floral. Farm chicken. friends. Now, for your Easter makes. Or for, yeah, for, for farm friends. Look at well. this, this is wonderful. The collection is farm friends. But yeah, for farm friends. We've got floral chicken in white. We've put it with azalea. We've also got it as a separate half meat heaven with our friend duck egg. <laughs> so, chicken. With duck the egg. egg. Mm -hmm. Why not? Look at that, how That's those right. work. That's a quilt asking to be made. Look this at that. It. All your eggs in one basket there, Jane. Wonderful. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Beautiful, isn't it? It's really pretty because you don't instantly see the chickens' faces, no. do you? Because it's floral. And the colours are just so beautiful. Yes, very fresh, very spring like. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think this next one needs much of an introduction, to be honest. This is an absolute hero. This is Cactus Dahlia in red. Look at that. Now, we've put this with Boom. Sapphire before, and it disappeared in milliseconds. We thought we'd give you another alternative option with it, which is Jade. Look at that. Beautiful. It's like bursts of fireworks. Gorgeous. But if you are someone who has a good old stash of blues at home, they're going to look great with this. Oh, yes. A bit of Hawaiian would probably look nice with that. Yeah. Well, I'd say. The peacock, peacock would look lovely. All that. All that. And the pinks, all our pinks and red. You could do anything. This is lovely. Look at this. This is from a brand new collection uh, by Three Sisters for Moda. This is from a collection called Rendezvous, Jane. Um, it's got a Victorian scrapbooking feel to it, hasn't it? It's yeah. rather... If you just said to me that this was um, Tim Holtz, I wouldn't have been surprised. No, it's It's, it's that got that sort of script, feel to it, it hasn't yeah, it? For sure. Beautiful script. It's like layers, so you feel like there's manuscript behind and then maps and things, and then there's beautiful butterflies and flora and these lovely birds. Absolutely lovely fabric. I love the birds. I love just gorgeous. Beautiful. And then, is that with our chartreuse? Is it chartreuse? It doesn't look like the chartreuse. No, actually, is I it think sage? It's sage? No, it's sage. It's sage. Which just picks up these greens in here beautifully. Very nice. Really with the sage. It's a nice bit of. That would be really nice for your journaling. <coughs> if you want to do book covers. Oh, yes. Or book bags. You know, perhaps you have someone in your life who. That's their thing. They like to journal or they like to... There's another bit of O'Deal here, like look. Oh, now this one is plumette, I think. I think it goes that way around. Again, flowers that when you actually look at them closely are made from feathers. Yeah. This is plumette in red, or rouge. Um, we put it with peacock. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Again, you've got a border through that. It's obviously not printed straight on the fabric. Because that, when you look at it overhead, it's, it's going, <laughs> <laughs> Can't do much about the printing makeup, it. No, it'd be great for your little makeup bag makes, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like that. Oh, look, this is makes. the... Um, this is another one that's lovely for your small weights. This is the flower yeah. fairy again, but in small scale. Yep, this is your little, your little flower fairies. That's so lovely, isn't it? It's that pretty. It really is. With azalea. That's really lovely. Such a rich tone to this. It's sort of like a tealy blue with this lime green and shocking pink on it. It's really vibrant. Love it. And then this one. Now, it's called Paper Fans, but I think it looks like pencil shavings. I love it, actually. I love it. You do love it. And this is with amethyst. Amethyst, can't say it. Amethyst. But we've also put some, there's only a few of each, we've also put some with our sky blue. Look at those two together. With it's that. a difficult choice, isn't it? How do you choose between those? Well, I'd have to get both, to be honest with well, you. Agreed. Because then you'd have a metre of the print and then half a metre of your two planes. That's a quilt. It that's is. a quilt. It is. Well, and that's the beautiful thing about the half metre heavens, is that you've then got fabrics that have been put together by us. We know what we're looking at here. We've got decent lighting to check them out. And it, it's really hard sometimes to choose planes to go with your designer fabrics. Yes, so it's very difficult to say to, to see it, isn't it, on a on a screen sometimes, really working out whether the shade is the right one. Yeah, yeah. Jane, last week, just to fill everybody in who perhaps missed the show. Yes. Last week we met we 
We yes, both you made, and I. We both made yes. the coronation wall hanging. We did. Which was fabulous. And we've had lots of people say how much they love that make. Um, a lot of you have bought the pattern as well and the kit, which is great. We're keeping that available because it's a, a considered thing that you might think, I really wish I had bought yes. that and I'm going to make one. I'm really excited to be able to display my piece because I am going to decorate all out for the coronation. Oh, yes. I am super excited. Well, I've not seen it in our lifetimes. Ever. Not in our lifetimes, yeah. not for many people's lifetimes, really, because exactly. our Queen, bless her, was with us for 70 years, Amazing. wasn't she? Amazing. So for us to now have this historic event is fabulous. It I'm is. very excited to very be exciting. hanging out of my window, hopefully, with the good weather, or in my window if there isn't, um, my coronation wall hanging. Yes. Well, the whole neighbourhood to see. This next fabric we're going to show you, I am very keen on the idea of having nice because i've got a long table that yes I'll put, it would make know, beautiful on, yeah this however as well we definitely need to make a little dress for young emily this Absolutely. is a really special fabric we've got now this is a collection of fabrics we've taken um natasha's favorites from lewis and irene it's their coronation day collection but this particular fabric here we'll go overhead and we'll have a look at some of the detail it's beautiful you don't necessarily see it when you look at it first of all nope. it's a parade it's a coronation parade you've got palace of westminster westminster abbey buckingham palace and it looks you like know the iconic one. it looks like the jubilee one but then you start to look closely in the carriage here is king charles and the queen consort then we've got prince William. princess of wales wow, prince, wales. Is, princess, yeah. prince of wales Cath Wales. Catherine, Princess of Wales, and then the three children. Yeah, isn't them. that lovely? And then we're thinking this might be the Queen's. It's yeah, Emma, 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 the yeah. Queen's horse. Yeah. And then you've got the horse guards. So that little bit of detail there, we were all aring, weren't we? Yeah, really touched us. Jane, can you explain where the repeat yes. is and and what it's what a six, one unit will look like? It's a sixty-inch repeat. So it goes, we've, we've worked out 60 centimetres, sorry, 60 24 amazing, inches, wouldn't it? A meter and a half. Yeah. You might want a metre and a half. We've gone from fountain to fountain because we felt that was the least print. You get the full, the full scope there then. So it, we cut through the fountain. So but it what, does chop the duck pond in It half. does. So we're saying, you know, if you want to get the full vista. The best use out of it. Get two units. Yeah. If you've got two units, you've got the option there to work with it in whatever way And you way can you take like. little pieces then. So I'm just going to fold this back up, pop it on the shelf, and then you can see exactly yeah. what it's, you'll it's get. It's a double-edged border as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, it goes on both sides. So this is a 60 centimetre piece that we have cut for demonstration purposes. But you can see it's the width of fabric and you get the border on both sides. So for a tablecloth for your jubilee for your coronation table, that's gonna look rather splendid. It really will. I just I love the fact you've got the Prince and Princess of Wales and the Corgis. Yes. And the children. And the children. You know, just amazing. But yet the <laughs> yes. he's here in the carriage. There's no there's no mistaking the fact the that that's Queen King Consort. Charles and the Queen Consort in that carriage. It's beautiful. The little detail in that is just stunning. So that's the border piece. And then we've got Natasha's ch chosen um, some fabrics that go with. So we've got this lovely blue with the Union flags on. Yeah. We've got this quintessentially British piece of oh. fabric here, this blue. And it's got afternoon tea, tea yeah. cream teas, teapots, mugs, coins. Lovely. cake everything in there that's lovely oh, that's really flags, Union yeah flags union well, flags in there and roses Great. crowns there's a gold metallic um accents in this we've got the union flags with that lovely royal purple behind and then we've got just the crowns Beautiful. gold metallic on that lovely rich royal purple and then we've got it on red how fabulous would this look as pennants of bunting? Oh, absolutely. Bunting. Look great. So we've got those ones. Or an infinity scarf. And that's the other thing. Oh, yes. An infinity scarf. Very. And then look at this. This is the, the fabric that goes with that border. 
you've got iconic London landmarks on there. Yeah. Again, you've got the carriage there and still it's very tiny, but it's no doubting that yeah, that's King yeah. Charles and the Queen Consort. Got beef eaters, the Crown Jewels, Tower of London, Westminster Abbey. Queen's Guards are there as well. Queen's Guards, all of this, all of the iconic London coronation moments and of course you can't right. go to London without a double decker red bus. You can't. I mean this would be a fabulous bag wouldn't it? Especially wouldn't it? if you know someone who's you know having a London trip yes. or they're a big old fan. It's great isn't it? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So those fabrics are by the half metre. This one as we say is on a 60 centimetre increment and then we have some panels Jane. Now when we got these last time they disappeared um, and we couldn't get any more and we're ever so sorry about that. When we got the Jubilee ones We've made sure we we've got plenty. <laughs> we've, we've tried to make sure we've got plenty this time, but again, we, you know, they Look last until they last. You've got pennants on here with the Union flag, the richness of this coronation I crown, the detail gold. is just fantastic. And the crown's quite similar to the crown we did last week. It's a really, yeah. a really good choice there. should have brought the quilt in, shouldn't I, really, yeah, to show yeah, everybody, to those that should. hadn't seen it. I have put There's the instructions in the kit on today's collection near all of these so that you can see together what they look like. But if you are making the coronation wall hanging that Jane designed, this is going to suit so well. It's going to match in beautifully. Yeah. There's gold metallic accents on, the, on around the hearts. The crowns are gold metallic. We've got this fabric here that matches the um, half metre, so you could use that one of these as your backing to your bunting if you wanted to to do the whole thing. You could use these as the back of the Union flags. There's um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen flags on a panel. Nice. So you've got the potential of sixteen flags or or eight. You know, so yeah. you can make it bigger. You could add fabric in between your pennants. Um, and I like this print down here as well. I you? love this you little bit of this little yeah. bit of sal on the salvage. If I just yeah. pull that up, can you see the crowns on the salvage? I'd make use of this salvage as well. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I would make use of this somewhere. I would yes. find a way. There would be something make you could sure make bag that that straps or something like that. Perfectly, and then yeah, it goes yeah. into the seam. You it know, would salvage can go into the seam. That's fine. We can cut the fluffy bit off. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be fabulous so that's a lovely panel there for your bunting we've still got some of the um fabric for the bunting that we've got hanging up behind us as well there's a few panels and only a handful of those remaining so yeah absolutely so there's oh, lots Sue of Langford, options for bunting Sue Langford's arrived late so oh we're all well <laughs> <laughs> all apart from Natasha, yes. Yes, we try. You know, we're okay. all fine. We just felt it was best to throw her out. Yes. And send her home so that she can be with her children. She can rest. Yes. And, um, rest up, and ready we for next. Dodge it. <laughs> ready for next. But she'll be back next week. So. Absolutely, she will. She'll be back next week uh, with her turnips. If anyone came here looking for the turnips, sorry. Sauce babes. There will. <laughs> <sauce> babe. <laughs> there will be turnip-related shenanigans next week. You're going to love it. It's gorgeous fabric. When Natasha, it came, I was like, oh, I love this. Yeah, and then I looked at it closely and I was like, yeah, turn it. <laughs> it's a Ruby Star fabric. So I think, you know, those of you who've seen Ruby Star, there can be some quite weird quirky, and wonderful things quirky. that appear. Yes. Um, but they're always executed beautifully and the colour involvement's gorgeous and there's another fabric to go with. We will have those for you next week, for yeah. sure. Jane, you're going to reintroduce us to our friend the Carnival Quilt. Yes. Which was so phenomenally popular. It's a really quick and easy make. It is. It? It's a lovely quilt. Um, you, Those that, that know will see all these half square triangles and you'll probably be thinking, oh, there's a lot of half square triangles in there. I'm going to show you a quick way of making several half, sure. half square triangles all in one go. Fantastic. Um, I chose to have mine with the triangles all facing the same way. You've got options, you can move them around, you can make different things and we'll have a look at that in a, in a little while. Now, we don't have these fabrics anymore, as, as Gemma said, they just, it flew, it they loved it. But Natasha had this gorgeous bolt of fabric come in and we all, almost in union, said, this will make a nice carnival quilt fabric. We did indeed. Look at this. Isn't that fun? Look at that. Brilliant. 
it's just lovely and I've chosen six colours that I feel complement the colours that are in there. Lovely. I was looking sort of at this this part here so we've got some jade, some of our chartreuse, a bit of hot tomato because the red isn't red it's more of an orangey red and there's a bit of marine in there because it's quite a nice bright blue then we've got bright pink and a bit of sunshine because we all want a bit of sunshine. We do. So you get a fat eighth of each of these that complement this. It's a half metre of this fabric and then you get 1.6 metres of black and it's 0.6 because we've included the fabric to make the bunting. So that's everything for binding. binding. <laughs> Got bunting on the brain. Jane and I have got similar brain at the moment, <laughs> haven't we? Yeah. And we keep going, hang on, hang on. That What's the right. word? No. That's not the no, right we word. We do it for each other now. Yeah. <laughs> so that includes the binding. So you've got everything for the quilt front and the binding. Beautiful. So you'll need backing and wadding Jane's to finish make it. Was my, my friend Vicky, I think many of you will know from the chat, I think a lot of you have chatted to her. Um, she only started sewing, well, less than a year ago. Yes. And it wasn't long before we launched the the, cal the carnival quilts. Yeah. Now this was the first, or at least one of the first, but I believe it was the first quilt she made. It is a beginner make. It, it is. is. Not it's a challenging make. It's not challenging at all. As There's no seam matching. It's really effective. Yeah. It's super effective. Until you get to the blocks. The only time you're going to be worrying about your seams matching is when yeah. you get to the blocks. But Vicky made this, and it looked superb. She was so proud. The first one I think I did with her actually was just squares. Yeah. That's what we did. I was like, just machine this charm pack of squares together just to get used to your machine because she hadn't sewn. And then I showed her how to layer and quilt and all of that. So yeah. that she'd done that one. But as far as actually following a pattern and, and cutting and, and doing half square triangles and everything, I believe this was the first one she did. Yeah, it's a nice manageable size really quilt. Is. You may have a little bit of fabric left over so you could make it a bit bigger if you wished to. It's 48 by 48. Nice size. Which is a lovely throw. Yeah, nice. On the back of your quilt, hanging on a wall like that is, looks yeah, nice, you know. At the back of your sofa, really lovely. Yeah. Um, and you've done some squiggly diddly. Yeah, I had a, a play with variegated thread with yeah. the quilting and just did loops and just took a, a line for a walk. Some of the lines aren't very... Well, straight first, and first, it's just no at first glance i thought it had been long arm jane yes so. several people said that oh have you had that long arm i was like no i did it myself on my machine um sort of a meander 50 inches is quite easy size to get you can you know you can do it on a domestic machine and that is done on a domestic machine and we're not talking the big um one that i was using on monday yeah. just an ordinary this was size standard size machine yeah. yeah standard size machine so um, just, you know, manipulate your quilt, roll it up to start with. So, and you work within the area that you can see. So, yeah. you know, in, when you're doing a loopy loop like that, it doesn't matter if it's not too uniform. No. Nobody's going to know. But and you've got such a striking pattern in the background. Yes. It's going to all yeah. work together beautifully. And the variegated thread was nice because the colours blended with the colours within the quilt. So, yeah, it all worked really nicely together. Fabulous. So this is what the block will look like if you do it the same way as oh, what wow. I've done. It's great in that colourway, isn't it? Really great. It's really good fun, and um, nice and straightforward. And it, and if you you know you're not feeling up to having a go at free motion doing loopy loops, just quilting in the ditch or close to the ditch around the shapes will be enough mm -hmm. on this quilt to hold it. So, you know, don't worry mm. if you if you look at it and think, oh, I can't do that. And you can do all what I will say to you. Black thread. Yeah, you know. have a go is what I yeah. will say to you but if you really don't feel you can mm. just quilting in the ditch or close to the ditch will be enough quilting to hold the three layers together anyway. In black, on black, hidden, yeah. done. No problem. Doesn't get much safer does it? So half square triangles for those of you that are not um, familiar with half square triangles start with a square and this is the um, background fabric the, the main fabric rather. So this is um, a large square and the same size square of your background, which is the black. And then we're going to, um, and the, the rule of thumb for standard half, uh, half square triangles is your finished size plus seven eighths of an inch. Now, if you're not familiar with inches, seven eighths can be a bit daunting. Mm -hmm. 
but with your ruler you've got um, marks on your ruler and they're marked in eighths of an inch you've got your half inch mark there the larger one the next larger one is your quarter and then between those is an eighth of an inch so when you're thinking eighth of an inch if you go to if I said to you we're going to do three and seven eighth inch squares you would go to the four and then just come back one notch on your ruler so they're not too difficult um, if you really can't manage with that if it really gives you the, the shivers just go to the next full inch make your half square triangles and then when they're when the half square triangles are made and this is what a half square triangle looks like um, done you can then trim those down to your finished size plus half an inch because we always add half an inch to a square shape so that we've got a quarter of an inch all the way around amazing so if you did a four inch square, you would then trim that square. It could create two of these and you would trim those down to three and a half. So don't be over phased by a seven eighth of an inch. You know, don't think, oh, I can't make that because I don't know how to do seven eighths. Um, you will then mark your square across the diagonal from corner to corner. Now, because I'm I've got black, black fabric. I'm using one of our sew line chalk markers and I chose the blue one because I like the blue and blue works on all colours as well. You know, I could use the blue on my white fabric as well and it would show up just as easily. Good. Um, chalk markers are great <coughs> because they brush out. They also wash out. So even if it doesn't come off, you know, when you give it a rub and it's still a, a bit of a ghost mark, if you wash it, you know, when I say wash it, dampen a cotton bud. Mm -hmm or something similar and just rub it over and it will come out then. You can stick it in the washing machine. Cool, gentle wash for your quilts. Treat it like a wool blanket. It will work. And when I mark um, across the diagonal, I start from the middle and work outwards. Just because I don't want to drag. We're working across the um, bias of the fabric, so I don't want to drag it and stretch it. Okay. So we've got a mark across there. And talking of the chalk markers, we've got these so easy ones, haven't we, that have we got... Have six <coughs> colors so you've got all opportunities there there's white red brown yellow blue green in there so there's all sorts of um, options for those and they're water soluble so they're e again they're easy to get out but they're they're really good because you've got all colors for everything you need and then you're going to sew quarter of an inch either side of your marked line um, you can move your um, needle across on some machines. On other machines, you get quarter inch feet. Now, if you've got a quarter of an inch foot that's got like a little metal guide down the side of it, um, they don't work for this particular method because they get in the way. So if okay. you've got one of those with the metal yeah, guide yeah. on them, they, they're, they're not very good for this method. But what you could do is you could just cut that along the line mm -hmm. and then use that that quarter inch foot just be very careful because you're obviously sewing on a bias and it will stretch so we're going to sew quarter of an inch either side of this line And I'm not going to cut the thread, I'm just going to give it a tug and I'm just going to go back down the other side. Because when I come to cut this in half, as I will be doing once I've sewn it, that little loop of thread will get cut through. So you've got a quarter of an inch either side of that line. You then take your ruler and you line your ruler up with that marked line and you cut the two pieces of fabric in half. And that gives you two half square triangles. Can I get pressing, Jane? Yes, please. And I'm gonna press those to the dark side of the fabric. To the dark side. To the dark side. So. You've got your two half square triangles there and they're the big, the big, the main fabric and they're easy to do. 
Now I just said to you that I'm going to show you a quicker way of making a lot of half square triangles all in one go. Nice. And this um, will make eight. Oh wow Jane, that's good isn't it? Eight half square triangles. So the rule of thumb for the measurement for this is your finished size of your square times two mm. and then the magic number that you add on regardless of what size your square is is one and three quarters okay so for three inch finished squares that's six and then one and three quarters makes these seven and three quarter inch squares nice and this that one and three quarters will work for whatever size um, squares you wish to do and thinking about these large triangles you would just about be able to get it from your half meter piece okay if you wanted to do it eight in one go so we're going to mark a diagonal line from corner to corner on one diagonal and then we're going to do it on the opposite diagonal as well. So we're basically marking across through the centre of our square. Like so. I don't know if you can see that. If I press a little bit harder, you might be able to see it. There, and Jean says, oh, I do love eight half, half square triangles in one go. Yes. And we're going to fine. sew a quarter of an inch either side of each diagonal line on here. So we're going to go down one side and back up the other on both diagonal lines. So for this quilt, to do this with each of your um, plain colours, you just need to do it twice. You know, these squares, two of each square, and that's all of the half square triangle made for the quilt. So that's going to save you a lot of time and make life a lot easier for you. Lots of time. Yeah rather than cutting 60, well you cut 8 because you get 2 at the same time. I've made that six, 16 blocks 4x4. Four four. So I'll just give that a little tug and then down the other side. So now you're going to cut this square in half. Now this is where you would line it up and in theory if you're in the half of this square it should be three and seven eighths along the middle and then you're going to cut it into quarters. So again three and seven eighths on this side through the middle. Always cut away from yourself even when I'm cutting across like this I'm, I'm standing on this side here, so I'm cutting away from myself there. Yeah. Just be careful when you're doing this one and take your time. So you've got that, diet, that cut. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could pull those squares apart because they're sewn together, but you're gonna go through the two diagonals as well. So across that way, and now I'm going to move my body position over. So I'm standing now this side Okay. of my ruler because I'm not going to cut like that. I'm going to position my ruler on this side and I'm going to cut away from myself that way. Okay. Just Jane, we are nearly out of stock of the double edged border with gold metallic of the Coronation Day collection. Wow. So if you have got that in your basket, I just need to be clear, <laughs> unless you've checked out, if someone else has got it in their basket and checks out, then it, it will go to them and not you. And I, I think sometimes people don't realise just because it's in your basket doesn't mean it's reserved. No. You do need to check that one out. You do need to check it out. And if you know you want to check that out because you want it now, mm -hmm. if you place a second order on the same day, 
because later on in the show you might see something else. If you just pop a note on your order, your second one, and say combine the orders, we'll do that for you. I mean, please, is always and, nice. Yes. Yeah. And we will um, amalgamate the postage. We so will. you may get a bit of a refund on your yeah. postage as well. But, you know, we're quite happy to do that. And that way you won't miss out on anything. Yeah. That's right. So we've now got eight half square triangles, just like that. Amazing. Boom. So, you've got, you know, you've got to press them all. Um, I'm not going to make you do that, Gemma, because I've already done <laughs> my prep for, the, for those. But there you are, you see, you've got eight half square triangles. And as I say, you'll do that twice. I'm press them anyway, Jane, just because you Yeah, just because you like pressing. <laughs> just because I can. Yeah. But you'll do that twice. <laughs> and as you can see, that will save you quite a bit of time. Because when you look, first look at that court, you think, Phew, there's a lot of half square triangles in that. But not if you do it this way. And you're also going to need, once you've done all your half square triangles, you're going to need a little square of your background fabric. Okay. So I chose the order I was going to put my um, half square triangles in, the little ones. You can change your order around. You don't have to do it the same way as I've done it. Um, okay. You sew them together into threes in, the, in your chosen order. I'm just making sure that I've got mine all the same because I'm a bit OCD. It wouldn't matter if you had them each block slightly different. Nope. Your quilt, your way of doing it. Absolutely. So We'd love to see it as well, actually. Yeah, do something we do different. love Please to see it. variations. And, and I has done this quilt, I don't know how many times now. <clears throat> it um, is one of those that you will go back to. If you've got a lovely, bold print that you don't really want to cut into small pieces, yep. It's perfect for this quilt. And the great and you thing just is that you only need half a metre of it, Jane. Yeah. yeah. So your half metre heavens are ideal because what's not to say no. that you have all of these half square triangles exactly the same colour. So you've got your half metre heaven pattern and your half metre plain with a, yeah. a plain background fabric of your choice. So the background fabric, Jane, let's, let's just recap. With this particular quilt, you need a half metre of your feature print. Yes. So again, like, any, like you say, any of your half metre heavens, if you've got that piece of fabric and you've been looking at it thinking, oh, I really want to do something fabulous with it and I don't know what, that's your opportunity. You then need your background fabric. We've said 1.6, but we've said 1.6 because that includes the binding. Doesn't yes, it, it does. You could use the binding or something different. Or you can buy a bit extra. We do have all of our cotton planes by the half metre available to purchase on the website. Always. Yeah. Always. Three units will do all you need for this size. And then your little pieces, they're fat eights, aren't they? But you yes. Know, you just choose what you want. You may have your lovely You could do it two colours, all the same colour. But it's a useful You know, it's a have. nice, it's a, yeah. there's lots of variations. And I'm going to show you, when I've made this block, I'm going to show you how the blocks can look different when you put them in a different orientation. In your armory, that's yeah. what you're saying, isn't it, Jane? It's a block that's very versatile and can be used in many ways. So I'm just sewing these, I'm sewing together in pairs, and then I'm sewing the final one onto there so that they're in rows of three. So we've now got our large half square triangle. Could we go overhead, Gemma? Oh, we can indeed. There we are. So I've got my large half square triangle and then I've got two rows of three. Same, that's, just remember that the, the bottom row is a different orientation. So yes. one row goes facing in that way. Yeah. They go facing in towards each other. Just because I want to have the colour against the background you'll get a different effect if you ch if you have them all the same way. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Have a play. Before you put them all together, just move them around and see how it looks. You might like it with the black against the background against the... You might. And that, that again, amazing, will it? give you a completely different effect. Fabulous. So I always say, you know, make your units up and then have a look at how they, how they sit and decide how you want those to go. So we're just going to press those and I'm pressing them so that the seams all face the same way. And the seams like to go towards 
the long edge of the triangle. If you try and press them that way, they don't like it very much because there's a little bit of a seam there. Okay. So I always sort of listen to the fabric if that's... <laughs> I listen to your fabric, I listen So to I'm going to now attach that row of three to my main block. Quarter inch seam, I use a quarter inch seam throughout with my um, stitching. You will, of course, pin yours. <laughs> Cynthia says, thank you for the tips and tricks. Everyone thinks that quilters have patience because quilts take a long time to make. But no, we don't. We like quick tips. We do. <laughs> we, we love, love it. a quick tip. We do. We love it. Oh, Elizabeth, The thing is, yeah. if you, the quicker you can get your pieces together, the quicker you can get your quilt finished and given as a gift or used within your house, you know. Absolutely. There are heirloom quilts that we like to take our time over. But then again, sometimes you just want a bit of quick piece in that just literally comes together and you could make this quilt in a weekend. I think mm. you get your quilt top done in one day yeah. and you could layer it up and get it quilted the next. Vicky, who's a beginner, has made this quilt in a weekend yeah. more than once. I know she has. Um, so we're now going to attach this square to the yeah. top of this row. Perfect. Fabulous. Karen says she's making jewellery today, but you're making her want to sew. <laughs> Naughty Jane. I know, terrible. I'm such an mm -hmm. enabler. So now we're going to press that seam towards the black, towards the square. Mm -hmm. And because on this we've, we've pressed it towards the large triangle, it's a triangle, Jane, not a rectangle, <laughs> to the triangle, these seams here... One goes that way and one goes that way. So when we come to join them up, we can lock the seams together. And you'll pop a pin in along that seam as well and that'll help it. But that just gives you the crispness of the points matching. Lovely. And that's the only bit of seam matching, other than when you get your blocks joined together, that you have to do with this, with this block. There's no other seams to match. Which again... It's fabulous, isn't it? helps to make it a speedy quilt because I think some of the some of the angst is like oh the point's missing on that and I haven't matched that point up there properly but um, no worries on that front have we? on this one it's a nice quick no. straightforward block to get together <clears throat> Jane Auntie Lizzie remembers uh, Claire Angelina being over the moon when you taught her how to do the uh, eight half square triangles in one go yes it really is one of those things that you it is it just it and it just, because Claire made her husband a beautiful prayer mat and it was all made from triangles and it was a beautiful pattern. And I said to her, you know, you can make these triangles quite quickly if you do this method. And yes. she was delighted because it did save her a lot of time. She's done one for a lady at her sewing group as well. Yes, which I thought was rather lovely. So you would sew your blocks together. You'll make all your blocks and you would sew for the quilt behind us four rows of four blocks together and I've done mine all in the same orientation but you can have really good fun with these if you put the large triangle oh, wow. all together you get that effect and this fabric um, Auntie Lizzie's just said I love the designer who is it, it Adrienne Laban beautiful isn't it oh Adrienne Ad I Adrienne I would I'd say, say Adrienne. Adrienne. Natasha says Adrian, but yeah. You could put two facing inwards and two facing outwards. Oh gosh, this is so versatile, isn't it? Isn't it? You could put all of those facing inwards. Oh, well, that's fabulous also. Look at that. See, that looks really difficult. Doesn't that look different and completely? it's not difficult. If you have one facing up, one facing down, you get a flying geese effect. Amazing. You know, you can, you could do them both. You could do them all, so they faced. Yeah, same direction. That direction. It's a really versatile block. You can have lots of fun with it. It will create all sorts of wonderful things. Put those two Brilliant. together. Oh, Lisa says, just back from shopping. I made the quilt in the original colourways. It's lovely and very easy to make. Yeah. 
as, as we were saying, you know, it's going to be one that you'll probably visit time and time again. Such fun. Such fun. So there you go. Oh, that is the carnival. Right. You didn't know about the postage. So Yes, it's always worth asking. Either drop an email at info well, it, at natashamakes.com yeah. or exactly just put a yeah say. or just pop a note on your order because yeah. there's a little note box but if you have forgotten to put the note on your order yeah you can pop us an email and ask now it needs to be on the same day the yes same we can't day, because they do separate out. days <laughs> yeah. so the system sends the orders through as like a lot in one go yes at so, midnight they yeah. get don't so know. if you've placed an order today and then you're buying half me to heavens at five minutes past midnight they're coming out as two totally separate batches, so we can't combine no, we those. we can't it's combine not, those. It's not something that can happen. Um, so, yeah, don't ever think we're being awkward on that. No. It's just the way that it works. No. And that's when error would start to occur as well. Yes. Which we do not want. No. Um, however, we will do our best where we can. And sometimes when you combine your orders, it means there's a postage discount. Sometimes it works out exactly the same yes, price. Yes, it doesn't. You don't get but anything. We will but always do that calculation for you and see if we can. Yes. Always. Yes, we like to give you value for money if we, we can. We do, we do. Jane, this is such a versatile block. It is. Literally, you're placing all those blocks in exactly the same way to get the calendar yep, quilt. To get the calendar quilt. <laughs> Carnival quilt. quilt. Monday was the calendar <laughs> quilt. If you missed that, that was this one. That was this one. Carnival <laughs> quilt. Um, it's lovely. Yes. And you're just machining those blocks together. Do you do them four blocks in yep, a row? And four, then row four blocks into a row yep. and then join the four rows together. And I would do two blocks together, two blocks together, and then into four. Mm -hmm. I never sew my block block to block to block. No. Just because the weight of it can distort You've it. You've to go in pairs. Yes. And then pairs into fours and then, yeah. Yeah. It just prevents Always. movement. Yeah. You can, you've got an opportunity of moving things, the weight of things will slip it and things like that. So twos and then into fours and then into eights. So, yeah. And the same with the rows. I would join two rows together, yeah. two rows together, and then join those two together it's into four. It's actually since you taught me that and I've yeah. started doing it that way. And it's these little tips and tricks, isn't it, that yes. we pick up here. This is why I is the stitchy witch. That is why she is the stitchy <laughs> witch. And that's what you've all called her. That's where that came yes. from. Um, but it's been lovely to have everyone with us today. Yeah, super. Absolutely, it really has. Oh, I'm Lorraine sorry you've here. only had one dose of Natasha this oh, week. Oh, I know. You had to have me twice, I'm sorry. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's thrilled to see you again. And it's your usual slot or it was on a yes, Wednesday. Yes, So, yes. Just but I'm back on you. Monday. On we are back on Monday. Monday, Jane, you've been a bit busy. You found this beautiful fabric had come in and you just, banked it, didn't you? Yeah, it's just so fresh and spring-like. Look at this. It's got to be quilted yet, obviously, but this is the pattern, and I've called it Spring Swirl. It's lovely. I've got a lovely soft lemon and soft pink there, which I've pulled from the, the main fabric, and the, this lovely apple green. So we've got sort of an Irish chain pattern I'm going on there. This is another one that's not difficult. No. And it's going to be really versatile. Yes. And you're going to be able to make loads of use of it. Yeah. And again, you can yeah. play with the, the orientation well, of the block. Well, and I'm also thinking, you know, if you want to make a little crib blanket or whatever, or one for one, they're in a push chair, just yeah. four block. Well, you know, the four yeah. stars would make it would make a really lovely. nice little size. It would make you could make it long and thin as a bed runner, all sorts of things. But I quite like this secondary pattern that's appeared yeah. here. I quite like that, and I can't wait to see it as well. Working with different dramatic fabrics yes. and where the white is perhaps like a navy blue or yeah. there can be all sorts we're every going to do one's going to look very different yeah we're it? going to do a couple of colorways for this so so that is going to be monday's show yes and natasha will be with you tuesday wednesday yeah. next week but in the meantime Oops, please sorry. do not forget the half meter heavens go live at midnight tonight um you also then will have friday deals on friday yes from our lovely Saraj. if you don't have the Friday newsletter, why not? Register for your newsletter and that will come through to you. There's some cracking deals in there, there always is. And then, yeah, we will be back on Monday. Yes. Do get those orders in for the Lewis and Irene coronation fabrics, for your bolt end deals, and for that K Facet sateen designer fabric. If you don't, and you miss out. Yeah, we're not sorry, we, we can't can do, do it. it. You've had your chances, Inga would I say. I know, she does. Oh. <laughs> The other day she wanted something and she said, I really wanted this and it's gone. I've had my chance, I suppose. 
<laughs> yes, you have, Inga. You've had your chance. Make sure you don't fall into that bracket. Oh, everyone's saying thank you for being here twice, Jane, and get well soon, Natasha. Yeah, we Leslie's send our love, don't oh, we? We do, we do send our love. Leslie's absolutely loved this demo and effect. She had to step away when you showed the fabric bundle and pattern. Could we quickly show it again? Yes, we yes. will. The fabric bundle is here, right in my little Danny's. My mother-in-law says Donnie's. Donnie's. My mum says Danny's. My mother-in-law my says Donnie's. Yeah. I don't know why. Hands. <laughs> Let's go overhead and have a very quick look at the kit and then we will sign off and go and lie in a darkened room, won't we, Jane? Yes. Hey. You've got your cut, you've got your, your, your pattern there, it has all the instructions, yeah. all the measurements, sort of cutting instructions, shows you step by step how to do that method with to get create eight half square triangles and also how to do just two at a time, creating the block yeah. and then popping your, popping your quilt together. Yes. The kit, we've got the background fabric, we've got 1.6 metres of this, this includes the fabric for your binding. You've got half a metre of the accent print, beautiful, Adrienne. That's, yeah, Adrienne, Adrienne Le Pan. Um, to give it its full name, that is Adrienne Le Pan Bio Geo 2, and the print is Mardi Gras. Yeah. And the fabric is called Mul it's, it's Colourway Multi. Multi, yeah. And then we've got six fat eights of jade, chartreuse, hot tomato, marine, bright pink, and sunshine. And those are the colours I chose to accent the colours. There's more than those colours within this print. I mean, you could have really good fun with it. Um, those are the colours I chose that accent the, the colours in, in the print. And that creates this effect because we don't any longer have the fabric that we used for the original no. Um, no, no. carnival quilt. So this is our Another fabulous carnival quilt mark two. It is, it is. This kit is $27.99. It's $27.99 for your fabric kit. You can then get your instructions in either printed or digital format. They're $7.99. So we are looking at having a quilt top made, having the instructions to keep and use in the region of £35. That's rather lovely. You can't grumble at that. What quilt no, top do you normally make for that? It makes a 48-inch quilt top. Yeah, this size. Yeah. But this print. There we go. Yes. All right. Please don't ask for the print that's behind no, us because we, we haven't got any more. We can't. We're sorry. Um, but we wanted to show you the overall effect. And it does say on the product page as well that the image of the quilt is there for reference purposes. Only. Okay. Yes. That's what it is. Uh, lovely to have you with us. Thank you very much for joining us. We hope you have a lovely weekend. And we will see you on Monday. Yes. With said wonderful quilt, which will be probably quilted by It then. should be quilted by then. That'll be all right. Well, <laughs> that'll be lovely. Uh, Debbie says, enjoy. What did you say? Enjoy what? Where are we? Enjoy today's show. Thank you both. Get well soon, Natasha. No, it's lovely. Oh, yes. And it's making people feel that they could make a quilt in a weekend. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. This one is a lovely quick make. It really is. Oh, thank you for another awesome and entertaining live stream. <laughs> well, considering this time yesterday, we didn't know we were going to be doing the show. I was going home to, <laughs> to, to make things. And you were supposed to be sat yeah. and quilting. I was supposed to be shenanigating on the tech. Yeah. Face is on. Hi. Yes. <laughs> but yes, without further ado, no. we will see you next week. Thank you very much. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.